It's estimated that 45 million Americans suffer from chronic headaches. Now science may have a new way to help them. In a small but long-term study, researchers say they've had real success with a device implanted in patients' heads. Here's Don Daler. All the beautiful babies here are hers. For Alice Jowers, horses are a big part of her life. The 60-year-old cares for them on a farm in Behema, North Carolina. Headaches were my closest companion. But because of chronic debilitating migraine headaches, not even these gentle animals could bring her peace. It is a stabbing searing. It's as if someone takes a hot poker and just sticks it right through your temple into your eye. And then the wires run up my spine. Desperation drove her to join a medical study for a unique treatment. Two years ago, surgeons implanted a device on Jower's skull under the skin. When she feels symptoms of a headache, she activates a trigger using a magnet on a small control box implanted on her lower back. That sends an electric pulse along wires to a specific nerve in her brain. For many headache sufferers, available medications, injections, and even psychotherapy simply aren't effective. This is on number six. Jowers is one of 46 patients taking part in the long-term electronic pulse study. Dr. Billy Ha is lead researcher. He says for some of his patients, the results were life-changing. That's the most important thing. And they were able to have a family, and enjoy the life, basically, without you know, suffering from this debilitating disease. Researchers have found the treatment doesn't work for everyone, and there are complications. The device can cause infection, and in some cases, the electrodes can move around the skull. <laughs> but Jowers doesn't care. For her, any relief is an improvement. It hasn't been the magic bullet, but it's helped. Critics warn the study depends on a small sample group. There are short-term medical uses for this technology already available, but this is the first promising long-term migraine treatment of its kind. Jeff. Don, thank you very much.